Are we? For us to find out, my friend. This woman is dead, Watson. Yes, several days ago, Holmes. But the body is perfectly preserved. No odour, no visible decomposition. This old photo shows a young man dressed after the fashion of an employee in front of a shop. Glass eyes in all shapes and all colors. It's a puzzle box. Let's see if I can open it. There we are, magnificent. A square object is very unusual. This letter speaks of a sign of recognition. Interesting. This may come in handy. These clothes are new, just like the deceased's dress. I imagine her clothes were changed. Look at this photo. It is inscribed Ethel Broom Street, 1851 to 1878. This young woman who died 10 years ago looks like the one stretched out on this table. This cheap jewel must be an accessory of some sort. Look, Holmes, a label from the London Hospital. It must be a corpse stolen from the London Hospital. Someone made up this corpse. The lips have been coloured and the rings around the eyes carefully camouflaged. Yes, somebody wanted to give the impression of life. To what end? I'm missing some information. Glass eyes in all shapes and all colors. Strange smell. What do you think, Watson? A zinc chloride solution without a doubt. A product generally injected into cadavers to help preserve them. Watson, this corpse was embalmed and made up and dressed to look like a woman who had died ten years earlier. This door was recently reinforced, impossible to open it.
Hmm, I'm missing some information. Amusing. The man in the photo taken in 1883 and the one on Prince Raskolnikov's leaflet are one and the same, and no more a prince or a Russian than you or I, Watson. All is clear, Watson. A charlatan passing himself as a prince, making the dead come back by using corpses as puppets. Which explains the disappearance of corpses at the London Hospital. It was to fuel this sordid entertainment. Holmes, I hear a cab stopping in the courtyard. Someone's coming. It is probably the dealers, Watson. But instead of running, what if we were to meet them, if we managed to win their trust? You are joking, Holmes. Oi, what you doing there, you? It's private in here. Calm down. We aren't here as tourists. We have come to collect our packet. Oh, well then, you just had to say. I was told that you weren't no tramps, but I weren't expecting that you was... Given your get-up, I guess your boss. Uh, yes. Yes. Well, the subject ain't ready yet. I ain't done with it yet. You'll have to come back. Well, that's, um, a real problem. I... Say, we have a personal order, too, for some organs. You wouldn't know where we can find them. What type, then? Kidney, uterus. Oi, I don't hack up my dollies. That's the work of an artist. But you wouldn't happen to have a colleague who might furnish this type of item? No, you can't make a copper doing that nowadays. Since the bigwigs made it easy to get stiffs, the medical schools are bursting with bodies to carve up. Docs and students have got all they need. Business is dead. For a few coppers, hospital bloke might help you out, but I don't know for sure. They'd be right in for it if they got caught. It probably just ain't worth it. I understand. And what do you do with the corpses once you're finished with them? Well, I don't bother myself with that. For one thing's for sure. After the seance, they're good for nothing but chucking out. I ain't Napoleon's embalmer. Well, if you'll excuse... He's got a funny way of talking, you. Oi, it's normal. He's a brain, you see. A thinker at that. Seize you round, old man. So, Holmes, the corpses that have disappeared from the London hospital are used during seances. Nothing to do with organ trafficking. Yes, it all suggests nothing of the kind is underway in London. In the medical world, all dealings would be visible, not to mention unnecessary. The crook we met confirmed this viewpoint. It's hard to imagine, therefore, that our Whitechapel killer perpetrated these massacres with the goal of selling the organs. What lead should we follow now, Holmes? Try to learn more about Tumblety. This squibby should give us some information, but first I must stop the journalist Tom Bulling from harming him. I hope my secret police will soon have some information on him. While we wait, Watson, I would ask you to inform your colleagues of your recent discoveries. It would be good if these morbid ghostly spectacles stopped, and this will need to be done at the London Hospital. You are right, Holmes. 